When my daughter was three, she had an imaginary friend named Kelly, who lived in her closet. She said Kelly played with her and sat in a little rocking chair while she slept. Two years later, we were watching a horror movie, and my daughter said, That looks like Kelly. Kelly who? I asked. You know, Kelly, she replied. The dead girl that lived in my closet. I was staying in my aunt's house when I saw my four-year-old cousin, April, sitting on the stairs. She was making funny faces. I asked her what she was doing and she said, I'm copying the lady with the bird. There was no one else there, so I asked, where is the lady, April? She pointed up at a beam running parallel to the stairwell. And what is the lady doing? I asked, making funny faces. April replied. I was about to go upstairs when April said something that stopped me in my tracks. Her braid is around her neck. I asked her what she meant. April pointed up and said, the lady is hanging by her braid. She's making funny faces at me. Then April started making a face. Her eyes were wide and bugged out. Her mouth hung open and her tongue stuck out. I realized it was the face of someone who was strangling to death. My niece had an imaginary friend, but she said she wasn't allowed to tell anyone his name. She said he told her everyone would get scared if they knew it. We kept asking her, but she would never tell anyone the name. Then one day, her mom and I were standing in the hallway, and my niece didn't realize it. She was talking to her imaginary friend and called him by his name. To this day, whenever I think about it, I am still creeped out. The imaginary friend's name was Lucifer.